Yeah. All right, Sean Bournemouth, it is Wednesday. We're back with our five questions. It's been a great week here in Ann Arbor. Um, but first, I want to um, reflect back on last week. Um, South Dakota State, great duel meet, great environment, not the outcome we wanted, but what were some of your takeaways from that duel? Well, before we get into wrestling, Leah, <laughs> I want to give Michigan football, Team 144, Coach Harbaugh and company, huge shout out. National champions. Unbelievable team, unbelievable game, unbelievable season. So fun following and just so uh, happy for them, proud of that team. I think it was an unbelievable lesson in uh, player development, developing culture, leadership through the adversity of this season. I was most impressed listening to all the players talk about the team, about each other, love for Michigan, playing for Michigan. True testament to really great leadership and building an unbelievable team culture to get them through to the finish line. 15-0. and 0. Every Wolverine around the world couldn't be happier, couldn't be prouder. Go blue. On to wrestling. Uh, yeah, uh, South Dakota State. Uh, tremendous event, actually. First time I've actually been in the state of South Dakota. First time we've wrestled there. Uh, the Sanford Pentagon. Uh, the organization that put that together, they were first class, did an unbelievable job putting a great event on in a really, uh, you know, an electric arena. It's called the Pentagon. Great crowd. It was packed, super, super rowdy and loud. Um, so just a great environment to wrestle in. Uh, from a team standpoint, you know, unfortunately, we were, you know, we're still kind of working through a couple injuries. But on top of that, we had a couple of our other starters uh, go down with whatever that you know, really nasty viruses uh, the day before the trip. So they were unfortunately so sick, we couldn't even couldn't even travel and bring them with. Um, so we, you know, we had four, uh, four uh, backup guys in the lineup. Uh, that's wrestling season. We, we brought the best 10 guys we could put on the mat at those weights. Uh, we split matches. We won five uh, over our other ranked opponents. Um, and, and we lost five. And, and really, bonus points was the difference. You know, a couple, a couple of the guys we had, in the lineup, you know, matches got away from a little bit. Uh, we were in a, a match where we ended up giving up a fall and extra bonus points there. And another match where we got majored. And you know, we just it's hard to win a hard to win a, a top fifteen duel like that. Uh, you know, so but some great takeaways. We had two two of our true freshmen uh, win some really really good matches over ranked guys. Uh, Sergio Lemley beat a two time All American. Shane Griffith had a great match um, with the, the the guy that won his tournament uh, bracket in Las Vegas, um, ranked fourth in the country. So it was uh, Shane's, I think Shane's best match and, and highest ranked win of the season. Uh, I kind of see him moving and uh, really coming along. Um, and some good takeaways in terms of what we need to do, just in terms of the overall, just with the team and getting some of these guys back healthy as we start to move into this Big Ten stretch. So still some real positives to take away from that duel, although you know, weren't, weren't overly uh, pleased with the, the team score outcome. Um, I want to touch on a few of those guys you mentioned a little bit, but you know, start with the, the freshmen. So, you know, Sergio Lemley, uh, Bo Mantinona, um, both seem like they're really kind of coming on through through continued competition, just getting better and better. How have you seen their development? I think they're you know, they're leading the charge for sure within that freshman group, and they're leading it in their daily actions. I mean, these guys embrace hard work. They embrace extra work. They really love competing. I think they're... You know, their confidence to go compete is fed off the hard work they do on a daily basis. And the way they challenge themselves in the wrestling room, they are constantly grabbing uh, as tough of partners as they can find and uh, really challenging themselves. And they really, they love to compete, you know, and they really step up in competition. And uh, I've seen them continue to improve uh, every time they step on the mat and compete. Especially, you know, Sergio's made some real good connections on his bottom wrestling. Um, I think Bo's made some great connections on his feet in terms of his tie-ups and, and just certain things he's doing in terms of creating his own offense. He was really in that South Dakota match. He had a couple of really nice high crotches, just a, you know, a notch away from finishing and having a couple more extra takedowns in that match. So love to see the progress, love to see the hard work and, and the great attitudes out of those two. Um, Austin Gomez made his Michigan debut, got a good win. Um, you know, what kind of spark does he does he bring? We talked about this a little bit yeah. last week, but, you man, once you, once you see it in action, it feels a little bit different. Yeah, Austin brings a great spark. I thought he wrestled a great match. Um, you know, I know he was his first folk style match in quite a while, so I know he was getting shaken off the rust. He's been doing a lot of freestyle. But uh, he was really excited to compete. I thought he wrestled a great match. I think there's certain things, especially with the, the – uh, 
frequency of making weight and competing every weekend now, I think he's really excited about having that kind of structure and having that weekly competition schedule for him because he, he's really only had one competition in the last several months. So I know uh, just being that competitive uh, environment every week, making weight every week, uh, I think we're going to continue to see him score a lot of points and put a lot of exciting wrestling on the mat for Michigan. It was great to see him in that Michigan singlet, and uh, I know he really loved it. Um, and he touched on Shane a little bit, but but you know, top five win, best win since he's since he's been here at Michigan. Um, just put in a really good month of training. Um, how excited are you about kind of the direction he's heading right now? Yeah, Shane. Same thing. I think is we're starting to really ascend into our our Big Ten season, and uh, this second semester, I've seen him really, you know, just in terms of his his training minutes, uh, the, the the partners he's training with, and the way he's competing in those minutes. And uh, that was a reflection. I know, you know, he had that he had that match circled uh, coming off the Las Vegas tournament. So I know he was he was locked in and dialed in for that match. I thought he wrestled a really a really stingy match. Um, you know, his I think he's capable of of getting to his offense. You know, when he when he does get to his offense, he's scoring. So you know, just increasing his attack rate just a little will will benefit him a lot. But real gritty win in a real tough environment and at a point where they had a lot of momentum from a team standpoint. So, um, yeah, super pumped for him and uh, looking forward to continue. Um, all right, looking ahead, we start our Big Ten season um, on the road Friday against Maryland at home, finally, um, against Michigan State. Um, you know, what do you want to see out of this weekend? Just want to see, you know, us continue to improve in all the areas we want in terms of our, you know, our tie-ups, positions, tack rate. You know, wrestling hard from start to finish. We should uh, we should be getting back closer to uh, full strength. You know, we've been dealing with some some injury issues in 133, so that's going to get ironed out uh, going into this weekend. Um, Lucas Davison, excited to see him wrestle some some starting to get into this Big Ten competition season. He's been doing a great job, uh, putting a lot of points on the board, continuing to continue to build his offense and and you know kind of really set the tone for how he's going to wrestle heavyweight. So he's got some big matches coming up as we start this, uh, this these Big Ten duels. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, continue to see that energy and intensity we want to see and, and guys wrestling with the, uh, you know, the, the high attack rate and just wrestling hard in all positions and, and you know, trying to focus on scoring points and, and enjoying the competition, embracing competition. And that's, uh, that's really what we're looking forward to. Another road trip with the team, quick trip out to Maryland, uh, you know, for Friday night's duel and then, We'll be back at home uh, on Sunday. All right, Sean, thank you. Go Blue. Go Blue.